what does this course cover? Basically, in this course, we are going to create a Trace 700 file for LEAD, EA Credit 1, and subsequently Prerequisite 2. The main part of this, or the most complicated part, is creating the baseline building, which will be a large part of our focus. We are also going to cover troubleshooting as well as what reports to submit. And actually, this is the first group that gets to see the most recent update, which is really great for submitting to lead, uh, which we'll cover. So finally, uh, we'll cover a few logistical issues along the way, such as time and cost estimation. So just so you know, we are going to cover cost. Uh, a lot of people have asked earlier in the course, and we're going to save it for the end of the day because this is there's a lot of information to cover, and that's not as exhaustive. So it's easier to talk about cost when your brain's already tired. And while we proceed along the way, uh, we're going to cover the estimating of the total number of lead points. It's something that people often ask ahead of time, and so that's something that we'll, we'll cover here and there. There are a few things that would be helpful to know already at this point, such as general trace use. You should know what I mean by archive file and also what we mean by libraries. However, that said, the important part of today's training is the lead process and how it is implemented in trace. If you need to refresh on Trace 700 operations, you may want to complete or at least review the Trace 700 online training, which covers almost everything you, know, you need to know for general trace operations. We also assume basic HVAC knowledge. Uh, that's something that we just simply wouldn't have time to cover. So in short, after this course, you should be able to model a lead building in Trace 700, troubleshoot it, and have a pretty good idea of the resources it takes to model for lead in Trace 700. One thing I want to cover quickly is in the schedule we have that we're going to take a half hour and then take a break. We're going to extend the first half hour. I hope no one has objections to that. The reason being is the next section is an hour and a half long otherwise, and so we're going to try to split the difference so that you get a break uh, more towards the middle. Okay, so as promised, we can start our crash course. Or maybe we should call this the highlight reel of Trace 700. We have to start with a few slides. Just like any job, this job requires a set of tools. Obviously, you need Trace 700, though I suppose you don't need it for this course. You should have a printed copy of ASHRAE standard, in this case 90.1-2007. And Appendix G is the most important part of the standard, and you should take the time to read through it at least once, especially before a project. And if you do read through it and you're a lead AP or a green associate, don't forget that reading it qualifies you for additional GBCI CE hours, so you can count that towards your continuing education for lead APs uh, and green associates. Up soon, we'll need the 2010 version, but for now, most projects are still in 2007. In fact, there's still projects that use the 2004 version of ASHRAE. Some people, if you're very new to LEAD, we sit there and talk about the standard all day, and it sounds like some sort of strange concept, but all that is, for anyone who doesn't know, is a little book published by ASHRAE, a little blue and white book, just like any of their, um, and any of their other standards. And so it's, some of you are probably like, is this course going to be that easy? No, but I have talked to people who have asked me what it was. So moving on, you should also have 